All right, your turn to choose, mate. You have two left. Ah, uh, let's go to the windmill. All right, windmill is that a way? Windmills give me big vibes of video games because I don't see them ever in real life, so I only associate them with video games. I was gonna say, is that even a thing in kind of like windmill farms and so on? Well, we we do have in some areas, but for the most part, no, not really. We just have dirty, disgusting oil. Yikes. Okay, I think this is the right way. We'll know soon enough. Yeah, because again, you can see it from the distance there. Yeah, the windmill. That's good level and visual design. I think my first big experience with windmills was playing, ironically, because I didn't know about the series at all, was Conquer on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> wow. Which, uh, that game is E-rated and child-friendly, which is weird. Yeah. I just noticed I'm recording at 60, but we will be outputting at 30, just to make things as uh, smooth for my recording process as possible. Yeah, it's fine. The game is set to 30 anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Yep. I much prefer a solid 30 to a janky 60, and I feel there's some people who hear that and they're like, what are you talking about? A bigger number is always better, and it's like... I'd prefer it to be stable. <sighs> You're that fucking guy off the Polar Express, you know that? Oh, man. That, that, I'm, I feel like that picture is going to be timeless, though. Even after it's had its time in the sun, it'll be one of those pictures you can just post and people will just still react to it in the same way. Yeah, with vitriol, apparently. Well, have you seen the Polar Express? I haven't. I might actually watch it later today. It is kind of terrifying. Wow. It was a movie that I remember I won. I actually won tickets to go see an early screening as a kid. And I was so excited because that was a big deal to see a movie before everyone else. Like, whoa, I'm basically like a god among all my school children friends. <laughs> um, but what happened was is we ended up going to see it. And then we go to the theater and the theater is packed. And we're like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, they were giving away these free movie tickets for it early. And I was like, well, that sucks. So we had to sit, like, right in the front row. And I was there with my baby sister. She was, like, two at the time. And we're there, and it's just loud and brash. And Tom Hanks plays, like, 14 people. And <laughs> it, it, it honestly, I didn't super enjoy it when I watched it there. And it partially did come down to the experience of being in a theater with like 150 kids and I was at the front row. But I don't know. I don't really like that movie. I understand. Like, I'm trying to remember if I've had, had any bad movie experiences. There must have been one or two. I know Wally was ruined for me because I was in a theater with, uh, like, it was me, my mom, my sister, and like two people. But it was dead of summer and the AC was broken. And I was being in a, th and it was in a theater in a huge mall, so it was already stifling hot in there, and they couldn't cool it down. And I think they forgot to put on the movie without, um, with with audio at first. So it was just, it was bad, bad times all around. Okay, well, maybe you should go back and watch Wally one of these days and rekindle the memories, bring the legend back to life. I did, and I will say, like, I, I enjoyed it more, but no matter what I do, I always think of, uh, whenever I think of Wally, I think of that experience now. Eh, uh, fair dues, mate. So yes, we opened up a new path, which we can, uh, hop back on and go the other way. There you go, with arrows and everything. Very Monster Hunter-looking arrows. I'll, uh, take your word for it. Not a Mon Hunt fan myself. Man, I was just playing some of it uh, yesterday because they added in some Assassin's Creed collab missions. And it's like, I haven't played it for months, but hopping back in, it's just like riding a bike after a long winter. It's like, you know how to do it and it feels so good. Also, hello, terrifying flower things. Hmm. Nah, that's probably nothing. It'd be a shame if you turned evil and possessed all these large goat people. Sure would. Just laying it on a bit thick now, Tanner, I'm gonna be honest. I- well, I mean, to be fair, in those preview images, they were pretty clear with what's happening here. I guess we've still got, uh, stuff to make in water. Do we have to go down there and then up there? I think that is the case, yes. Okay. If it's connected here, then yeah, it's pretty linear. You just follow where you have to go. I don't give a fuck. 
We don't need to switch into our winter caps. We're too cool. We're like those kids who refuse to wear jackets outside. Ah, uh, you'll catch your death a cold, and you'll probably deserve it as well. That was a bit mean, I apologize. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about these these uh cat enemies. They are the worst. The the music that plays for this section is very Xenoblade Chronicles esque, I gotta say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I say as I pretend I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want like audio feedback and whatnot. You just have to take my word for it. It's like not quite Colony 9 esque. You know what, that's a single pawn, I'll live. They can also steal hats, though, and that's the annoying part. <laughs> Stealing hats from the hat kids, how dare they? There you go. Actually, speaking of Monster Hunter, all those little, like, uh, doodles on the walls are very much similar to the, uh, fey lines there from Monster Hunter, so... Probably not a reference, but just, just, uh, similarity. But with all these cats and whatnot, do you think it's, like, a Monster Hunter reference in general? It... It could be, but I feel like they're not really, like... As far as I'm aware, there's no other references to Monster Hunter in this game, and I feel like something as mind-consuming as Monster Hunter would have more than just one reference there. Fair dues. Because trust me, once you're in the Monster Hunter, you never leave. <laughs> once you go mon -hon, you never go... bon -hom, which means snowman in French. Oh, okay, sure, why not? means snowman. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for being there to save my terrible attempts and jokes. And we have a direct path to the windmill now, so this is good. Yeah. There was a couple of these places where I tried to jump off early, like you see some areas in the environment that you look like you can go visit, but I tried to jump off and finagle my way over there, and you, you can't. <laughs> That's a fun word as well, finagle. Sonic Adventure this isn't. Not everything has collision. Yeah. Even if you bumped everything, there's a badge that lets you run up walls. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, that that no bonking badge is very good, and I love how they use like the fan term that they came up for it for bonking. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna call it what what everyone calls it the bonk stuff. I love that r low resolution like frame rate uh, windmill up there. Besides the big one, that's kind of funny actually. All right, here we go. Platforming challenge. Let's go. Very. This one. This one definitely reminds me of Mario Sunshine in terms of being like a a realistic structure that you have to platform up. I love that sort of shit, mate. But uh, you'll know that if you've watched any playthrough starring me ever, which is basically ninety nine percent of them on Elf Icons. <laughs> that that. Yeah, I I would say so. I mean, has there been any without you entirely? Uh, there is one or two. Um, Richie, uh, he actually put his Prince of Persia 2008 LP on there. Uh, also his Bayonetta ones, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now I've just been, like, arm-twisted into playing Bayonetta with him, so uh, look out for Bayonetta 2 in 2019 sometime. Well, obviously to prepare for Bayonetta 3, which is the third coming of God herself. Yes, herself, if you will. Just look at all the detail on, like, the platforms and whatnot. Ugh. Yeah, and it's really cool because, yeah, you can platform around here, but you can also look at it and be like, look at how this is how windmill works. You got the spokes of the gears transferring the motion from vertical to horizontal, and, oh, it's so good. Going up. I mean, I'm sure there'd be some science guy who's like, whoa, did you know that this windmill wouldn't actually work in real life? And it's like, yes, it's a video game. Yeah, well, fuck you. Fuck you for ruining the magic, alright? I, I I honestly, there's some of those things where it's like, people point out like, Whoa, this video game thing wouldn't actually work. And it's like, yes, that's, congratulations. You pointed out the fact that the roads in Sonic go in complete loops. <laughs> uh, alright, yeah, I gotta go over there. So I was just enjoying the ride for a second. That's fun, you know, Hat Kid gotta have some fun every now and then. That's what this is miss missing. It is an amusement park world. Oh my god, yeah, Hat in Time 2, get on it. Yeah, like, that's- I love Peanut Park. I just- as a kid, I would go visit Peanut Park and just play. And, like, try and hop on the roller coaster, even though it's actually impossible. Peanut Park is a very strong level. That's a term I've started to take from Liam, by the way. Just describing things I like as strong. Uh, Gruntyland in um, Banjo Tooie is pretty good as well. I I like that one, but I don't like how the slot machines try and kill me, which is a, an active, uh, you know, embodiment of gambling. Yeah, it's capitalism gone wrong, is what it is. For sure. 
<laughs> Has capitalism ever gone right, though? <laughs> <laughs> Fight the power. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> okay, a panic attack turned into a win. I like how the eyes of the Dweller Mask, too, make you look like you're just completely, like, on edge during this whole thing, because they're always shaking. Well, it, it matches the real me, so, yeah. Ah! A little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, Mario 64 with these platforms. Mr. Spider, you doing okay? He's just chilling. Yeah, checkpoint. I let Spider Bros live. <sighs> you're you're a bigger man than I. I'm gonna be honest. Though, of course, you know Bros knock before they enter. So if they're in my room, no, they're dead. Yeah, for sure. But if they're just out and about, yeah, it's fine, Spider Bro. <laughs> spider Bro, Spider Bro. We're recording an LP for that, and you'll probably see it in a couple of days or so. Ooh, good run. Hey. 99% of the time, it works. 100% of the time. Ah, uh, yes, that famous uh, Wayne Gretzky quote, quote. Yes. Is it possible to jump across there, do you think? Maybe with the cheat hat? Well, that's not the cheat hat. That hat is actually balanced so that your, your, your single jump you get with... Oh my god, you did it! Yay! I want a shiny thing. I'm probably not gonna get the required yarn before the end of this, but you need 35, like, time pieces to get in there anyway, so does it matter? Uh, yes, because you need that, like I said, you need the time stop hat for the first mission there. There you go. So, we're, I'm, I'm sure we'll end up finding it, because I did end up by just playing through the game. I had more than enough yarn to make it, uh, by the end there. So, hopefully we'll do it, but, uh, you know... We'll have to see. If we need to do some off-screen yarn searching, we can always do that, too. <laughs> oh, we must search our yarn to find who we truly are. I'm sure if I look up yarn guide, I won't get anything weird. Why would you assume you would find something weird for such an innocuous thing? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I find people who knit to be a little weird. A little bit off-kilter, if you will? A little bit, for sure. Oh, this is fun. Oh, yeah. This is clearly something that was played around with, and he's like, I gotta find a place to put this into the level. <laughs> there you go. This bit's kind of tricky, I'm not gonna lie. And thankfully, there's enough safety platforms that if you fall down, you don't go too far, which is the mark of a good platformer. Not, oh, you fell down? Guess you're way back at the very start, you big dumb bozo. See, that would have, like, ended up in me falling down in any of the game. Yeah, that, that would have had Mario in Mario 64 go, oof, and oof, fall down. And I love that. If you want it, I mean, because of course I have the perspective of the youngins as I am a teacher, but hearing kids still reference the Mario 64 oof when everything's go wrong because they see it in other like people's YouTube videos, it's so weird because you're like, hey, I played that as a kid. Like, there was a time when these kids were just Googling Mario 64 sound effects in class and like they, they in the middle of class, they'd be like, Oof! And I'd be like, okay, who's playing the Mario 64 sound effects? You're like, how do you even know? And I'm like, psh, come on. You know what I think that is? That might be because they've watched the uh, the only players run of Mario 64. It's possible. You, It's surprising seeing, like, how... What they what they engage with. Like, there is, there is ones who would always watch Game Grumps whenever it was free time. And it's like, huh, that's very cool. Nice. The youngins are all right at times until they start Fortnite dancing, and then they try to teach me, and and it it apparently I can floss okay now. Why aren't you being the cool teacher, Tanner? And also, why am I going in a circle? I'm I'm having a panic attack. Um, I think you need to jump across uh, down there and then hop over to the other side because you're gradually making your way up. Oh, making your way up a structure is the tightest shit in 3D platformers. It's just a shame that in real life, doing so is terrifying because of heights. And consequences. Don't forget consequences. <laughs> real life consequences. The worst game over. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, the way they space out, like, balloons and other bounceable objects in this game is pretty much perfect. As long as you just hold forward, you're always guaranteed to make it. 
Yeah, it's not like some of the, like, uh, Sonic stuff where it's like, oh, it'll hold back a bit, you don't want to overshoot it. It's like, nah, this one, it's like, they know. Also, hello, egg. Yep, that is an egg that explodes. Or as I like to call it, a grenade. <laughs> a yolk bomb. Well, I remember back when I played Banjo-Tooie, that's what I called them, and people were like, that is the worst pun ever, stop saying. I'm like, no, they're my grenades. You're a special person, Tanner. That's why we make such a good team. Thank you. My mom thinks so as well. Aw, oh, precious. Alright, we're slowly making our way there, lads and lasses. <laughs> a lesser me would just leave all this in, but if it gets any worse, I'll go. I will say, this is definitely uh, the, like, pinnacle platforming challenge, because I even think that the final level kind of uh, is nothing compared to this. Yeah, it kind of softballs it, really, which I appreciate because it's, you know, filled with... <laughs> All right, I'm getting a bit annoyed now. Uh, if you need some life, there was some beside you at the entrance there, so maybe I'd go back and grab that, just in case. Too late. Oh, let's see. I'm committed. I'm gonna do this. This is what makes it exciting. That's good cycle, good cycle. Thank you. Look at that health over there, teasing me, taunting me. Thankfully, I think if once we get to the next section, they give us some more. Let's hope. Big gear. A little bit of Castlevania, too. Gears and all that. Mm hmm Well, I mean, it's not the only Castlevania they appeared in, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, that's a little bit of safety. That's nice. There you go. Just short hops is all you need, apparently. Oh man, I love short hops in the new Smash Bros. They're the best. Mm hmm How did you used to have to do it? Because it was really tricky, wasn't it? You would have to tap jump and then immediately press down to make your, your kind of inertia start moving down. And it was really difficult and also probably not super intentional because like it, it looks kind of janky. So they made it not janky, which is which is good. So yeah, this is a really fun bit of platforming. I will edit a bit back there just so it keeps running smoothly and you don't get annoyed, Tanner. I'm sorry. Uh, I, the one holding the controller, say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you've exposed me. I'm exposed on the TL right now. And there's only one left, actually. It's probably the easiest of them all. Ah, uh, yes, because I know I think I did a, a, a bad jump, as in a jump that wasn't intended, and just beat it. <laughs> mm. Alright, there we go. I, uh, decided to make a little bit of a cut point. Pay no attention to what's on screen, only what in your heart matters. Yes, for sure. Pay no attention to the, uh, video editing room behind the curtain. <laughs> okay, maybe we go down here? Um, I'm not sure. I didn't even know that had collision. <laughs> huh, interesting. I really hope this is the correct way. I think this is this is because this is a uh, this takes us to the goat refinery where we haven't been to where they refine goats into better goats. Uh, you want your goat to be a better goat? Just send it to the goat refinery. They didn't really like the name Goat Correction Facility. Uh, to be honest, would you? <laughs> a little bit. It's kind of comedic. I swear, if there's not a single goat over here, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, that might lead into the story. Where have the goats gone? Where have they gone? Is there, is there a deep goat lore being like, one day the goats all disappeared, and now, now we need them back. Also, hi, Yarn. I think that's all that this was for, yeah. It's alright, we, need, we need it anyways. It's content. Uh, how am I doing when it comes to yarn and whatnot? 14! Ha ha ha! Yeah, I'm not getting that before the end of the game. Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay, I know there, so... There, there's a couple that you need um extra hats and stuff to get that you couldn't get in earlier levels, so we might go back and get them. Again, off-screen, just so that we can, we can get them. Pull up a, a yarn guide. Yeah, there's all like little sh uh, small side areas that you can go on here, even that aren't like we got it from just the hub area here. So again, really cool. And this is the worst jump. That's the worst jump. It's just bad. It really is. 
Alright, we'll stay away from the ones that steal shiny things. Only I may grasp the shininess. There's only room for one kleptomaniac on this mountain. And it's me, the one with opposable thumbs. <laughs> oh, this is fun. That part- oh! Ooh, hey, safety collision. Collision on things you don't consider to have collision. Now I think I'm completely fucked. Um, maybe. We'll see here. There might be a secret bounce pad. Yeah. Nice. Oh, but I want that yarn. Yeah, I got it. Now, please, <laughs> please don't let me fall to my death. There you go. That's good game design. Yeah, it, it looks like it, it halts your momentum when you get it, which is good. Alright, which path do we actually want here? Um, why well, is there only one option right now, or is there multiple? Hmm, only seems to be one, so, yeah. Yeah. I think later on, once you, because I think you have to go to a side area, open up a switch, and then you get to move on to the next one. So yeah, you can swing around and get those pawns there. For the most part, though, you kind of naturally gravitate them towards you. Ah, uh, I love that. Money just falling into my pocket. Serpentine Birdhorn. That is a stand name. Th that also sounds like an item you'd get from stealing from a boss in Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. You know, for the longest time, I didn't realize Phoenix Down meant, like, the down of a bird is feathers. Yeah, no, me neither, and then I looked up... I, that I, just, I think I was just looking up the word down, and it came up, and I don't know why I was looking up the word down. Eh, we get bored. Don't worry about it. Man, there's, yeah, rabbit holes, you know, there's, there's, there's many of them. What's the deepest YouTube rabbit hole you've gone down? Um, I've seen weird YouTube, or, like, you know, you know like, how there's YouTubers with millions and millions of subs, and you never hear of them, stuff like that. Yeah, you mean everyone in YouTube Rewind? <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's so weird that someone could be so popular and so elusive at the same time. Well, just like, every time someone mentions a celebrity name to me, I'll be like, who? And they're like, how do you not know about literally the most important person in the world at this moment? And I'm like, because I've ne I only heard of Nicki Minaj when she was first kind of coming onto the scene because someone made a joke about her butt being fake. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do you even know who I'm talking about? And I'm like, no. <laughs> you, you're talking about a menage a trois, right? No, this is an actual living person with feelings and agency. It was, yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I am. It doesn't help that I don't frequent, you know, I don't even listen to radio anymore. I know some people are like, have you heard this song? And I'm like, no. And they're like, don't you listen to the radio? And I'm like, no. Nah, if you want to listen to a bit of prime music, lads, you got to pop on that Mega Man X soundtrack. That's literally, I just listened to basically my phone and podcasts, and it comes down to, yeah, pretty much Mega Man. You got some Mighty Switch Horse. You got a bunch of anime garbage. I'll sometimes find, like, um, someone's, like, playlist. Like, I'll find someone else's playlist of music and just download it of what they have. And I'm like, you have good taste in music. Let me download your 500 song, uh, 500 song little thing. Also, yeah, this ladder does not work for some reason. I remember it with me also being like, it just doesn't like to work. How am I supposed to get up here, then? Try going up the ladder again. I think it's just a finicky ladder. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, like, th I, that happened to me, too, and people were like, yeah, that ladder is a bit wonk. <laughs> Why don't they fix it, then? Because it's it's intended. It's part of the game design. Oh, I see. It's a ladder meant to lure you into a false sense of suspicion. The ladder represents Hat Kid's insecurities. <sighs> sure, why not? I don't want to turn this into a, a game theory sort of video. What you're saying is, Hat Kid is not Sans's mom from the past? You need to hurry up and kill yourself, I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. It's mean, but it's also very, very important that you do this thing. It's, uh, man, I, some people just... The reason I don't super love Game Explain is because one time I mentioned Majora's Mask and someone jumped in and was like, "Oh, did you know that Link is actually dead the whole time?" and he's just going on and all about all this like Game Explain or Game Theory stuff. And I'm like, "Sure. I mean, I don't personally 
subscribe to that notion. They're like, no, it's real. Trust me. Here's this like five videos that you can use. And I'm like, please don't. <laughs> please just, just leave my comments. I just want to play video games. That's a very interesting looking area. Hmm. Okay, I think I might be getting ahead of myself here. A little bit, a little bit. It's all right. It's it's uh, foreshadowing through environmental storytelling. There you go. This is truly the dark souls of video games. <sighs> there is a whole article I saw that's like, environmental storytelling games was invented by Dark Souls, and I'm like, it's totally not, though. <laughs> oh, I just want to punch you in the fucking con. It's, it's so rough that people attribute even, also, nice catch on falling there. <laughs> Welcome to the birdhouse, motherfucker. Ah, do you have any presents for us? We have a lot more money now, and I don't think we actually need to use it for anything else. Oh, you want the one-hit badge? No! I'm yeah, good. No, that's fine. That's, that's for hardcore gamers. Not me. I'm the one who plays on, like, baby mode in fucking Wolfenstein. We're, we're, we're more mid-core. We're the ones who sometimes go for craziness, but for the most part, we keep it nice. We Being critical mode on KH2, that's about as far as my hardcoreness goes. How was that? I was thinking of doing that myself. If you can do proud, you can do critical out push. I have only played normal. Well. <laughs> Work on up then, young Skywalker. Work on up. See, and, I've, and it's weird because I've been told by other people to just skip proud entirely because uh, critical is just the better way of doing it. I, w I wouldn't agree with that. I think a bit of practice on like how nasty it can be on proud is uh, required first. Fair enough, fair enough. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. See, this whole section here, you can skip it with one really, really good jump by jumping over to the, uh, the big bird who's over there being a, a large, you know, uh, bird. There you go. Ooh, hey, we got a crayon. Gotta get those, uh, time rifts in, um, the main hub, actually. I haven't been, uh, dealing with relics as well as I should. That's alright, we've been kinda, after, after the money incident, we've been very keeping close with our, with the, you know, making sure that we're not running out here. Hmm, very much so, mate, very much so. Ah, it's an egg, and it's gonna explode! Thankfully, it has an area of effect around it that shows you just how big the explosion is. <laughs> yeah, you better run, egg! It's a little disturbing, because the, the the legs coming out of it kind of imply that there's something in there. Yeah, very true. Also, remember, these guys love to bounce you around, so I guess they give you an area of safety here just to test that. Yeah, it's good game design, like Sequelitis. <sighs> remember that was a series? Yeah, remember he made a really bad one and then gave it up because people actually got sick of it? Oh, it sucks because I really do like what the the. I mean, it's nothing crazy what he introduced in the Mega Man X one, but it's just like it's a shame that after the second one it was kind of done. Also, Rift Token. Yep, there we go. There we go. I gotta say, I think the Castlevania sequel Iris was the best because it was the most unbiased technical of the bunch, and there was a few jokes just to spice it up, but for the most part, it was all technical shit. But with Mega Man, it's just like, wow, you can't go left. That must mean you can go right. Oh, amazing. It says to press any button, and I press the power button. It shows how you can't trust your emotions. Wow. Right, <laughs> Come on, Tom. Don't go there. Yikes. That was a bird apocalypse. <laughs> Sorry. That, that, that was so dumb it wrapped around to being really funny. <laughs> That's the best kind of jokes, were. I think we actually have to open up a thing first, so... Uh, good job. We're going this way, fuck! <laughs> you you can't walk over there. You have no eyes. You can't see what's in front of you. <laughs> and no soul. Yay! I'm good at platforming. There we go. Yeah, we got the the big horn. Uh, See, so yeah, I think you can totally skip this by going up a certain way and just jumping over to the other side. I can actually see how you'd be able to accomplish that from here. Yeah. Good shit. But we're we're good boy gamers. We're playing this as intended. 
Yeah. We're not using disgusting cheat strategies like those gross speedrunners. <laughs> Cheating. Not getting or playing the game properly. I think there's a, a an item around this dude, though, if I'm correct. Actually, I, I could be super wrong, though. Well, if you are... I've only wasted about a few seconds. Like, you'll have to uh, pay back with real money to everyone later. <laughs> yes. Uh, everyone, please look forward to five cents being added to all of your PayPals. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is adorable. Big springy bird. There you go. That's all the main timepieces done. Oh, custom animation. And that's time at the end as well, though. Yeah. Birdhouse is done, and all these horrible disease plants are just budding up. No worry, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. Disease plant, honestly. 